Right, uh, Shalom, uh, giving all praise unto Yahweh, Shema Shai, Bashim, Kaha, Kodash, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, and honors your brothers and people, sharing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. The Bavai body are coming out here to give you this truth for the grace and mercy of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kaha, Kodash, giving all praise unto Yahweh, Bashim, Shai, Bashim, Kaha, Kodash. So this is going to be a relatively quick, quick video inspired by the video Apostle Taha had posted um, a couple of days ago. Um, and it was on the title of Higher Value and I believe the subject was this man Tyrese, Tyrese Gibson. I believe his, I believe his surname is Tyrese Gibson. And we see with the Tyrese situation, he was simping over, you know, his, his, his so-called wife or ex-wife. <laughs> Excuse me. Right, his so-called ex-wife, and we see, you know, that woman pretty much was a um, was a 304, all right? And we see within the book of Micah, I believe it's the book of Micah, the seventh chapter, that the thy wife shall be a harlot within the street. And that's the vast majority of these Negro, Hispanic, and Native American women uh, within this kingdom that we're living in right now. They're a bunch of loose women. So you can understand And that's the punishment the Most High Put upon us And we see within the book of Jeremiah I think it's book, the book of Jeremiah the third chapter If you go to the book of Jeremiah the third chapter It talks about how that We as a nation We played the harlot Okay, We the Negroes, Hispanic, Native Americans We reference to the Heavenly Father we, we was likened unto the woman Or the Most High That's the book of Ezekiel the 16th chapter The book of Revelation the 12th chapter we see that we're the woman of the Mosai. The Mosai said he, we are his his lover, right? We're his um, we're his, his, his spouse lover. Okay, he we're, we're the principal principal focus on the earth when the Mosai is sitting on his throne. He ain't concerned about these nations, and that's within the book of Isaiah, the forty fifth chapter, on the seventeenth verse. He says the nations are as a drop of a bucket, counting the isles as a very little thing, right? But the ch children of Israel, we're, we're on a higher level than that. We're likened unto the woman of the Mosai. And when we went off and followed after the ways of these heathens, the Mosai likened it unto committing adultery. So he cast us out from our land and he set up the heathen to be within our land. And you got the heathen right now fighting over a land that, that doesn't belong to them, it belongs unto us. And the Heavenly Father put all of these curses upon us, pursuant to the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, pursuant to the book of Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter. And we see within the book of Deut Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, that it was inevitable that these curses was going to come upon us because the creature was made subject unto vanity that's the book of romans the third chapter on the 23rd verse is that the one but the creature was made subject unto vanity and with a creature being made subject unto vanity we were subject unto these curses at some point within our existence within the earth and part of the curses is that our women was going to be harlots within the streets right the negro hispanic and native american woman was going to be a harlot the, the negro hispanic and native american woman was going to be a harlot within the streets man you see all of this these are so-called um mg tower all of this bs this high value bs which that's going to be the, the topic of this video the the true high value of the most high is these scriptures right you got all of these mg tower and you know uh red pill movements and all this that and the third and they're trying to counter counteract the gardenian pact that the woman has made with the serpent in order for her to be liberated and in order for her to be a whole which really is a curse Right, because the glory of the man is the is the woman. Now, how can you have something that's worth glory and everybody has access to it? That's 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 madness. But see, with the serpent, these women are allowed to do whatever they want to do within this society. And that's part of the curse. The most I set it up to where what? Thy wife should be a harlot within the streets. Now, let's speak about this so-called this the so oh the, the that's that's crazy. Okay, the, the number plate just in front of us says yeah. Okay, as in Yahweh. <laughs> that's 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 crazy. That's beautiful. Sometimes you know, sometimes the little details, you know. <laughs> it literally says uh Y A H. Okay, I broke the Yahweh outside. That's beautiful, man. Oh, uh, Yah 12. <laughs> Come on, right? Y T. Um, and then it says Yah 12. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Broke the Yahweh outside. I didn't even realize that. Okay, that's very spiritual. So continuing here with, with my video. So you got these guys out here. You know, with the so-called red pill movement, and you got on the other side of it, you got the, the the simp, the simp guys that are out there trying to really make this situation that work out here and, and, and begging for a woman, and the red pill guys are on this uh on this material possession is 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 your value type 
type type type spiel, right? But what do we see with King David when the Moses picked King David to be the king? We see the prophet went out there and he was picking off the sons of Jesse. And as he was picking it off of the sons of Jesse, he went out by the outward look. Okay? He went by the outward look. Right? The tall, the tall brothers of, of, of King David. No, 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 not that one. The Mosai said, I don't want that one. Okay, he went by the outward appearance. But what say if the Mosai, I don't look on the outward appearance, I, I look to what's inside a, a, a man. And he said that the scripture says that the, the King David was a man after the Heavenly Father's heart. Okay, the scripture says that King David was a man after the Messiah's heart. You see that? Now that's a beautiful thing because we can we can we can translate that to the position that we're in right now when it comes to this so-called value value proposition that these people want to be speaking about. Because although brothers are blessed and the Messiah looks after us, the reality of the situation is, as far as this world is concerned, and the scripture says that we are poor. Okay, the scripture says that we are poor. So we ain't got all kind of material possessions and we ain't got all kind of material material wealth. But guess what? We got the highest level of wealth, the same wealth that King David has. Because we are the, the men, we're the hopeful men of the house of King David. So we, we we are privy to the same mercy that King David have. And not only are we privy to the same mercy as King David had, the scripture saith that what? The scripture saith that King David was the man after the most high's heart. So therefore we are, we are men after the most high's heart. Does not the scripture say that, that follow the lamb with us, so ever the lamb goeth. That's what gives us value. That's the that's the value that these people out here within the world they can't seem to grasp because it wasn't blessed. They wasn't blessed with that knowledge. They wasn't blessed with the understanding that really the value, the real value, the real wealth is the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Doth not the scriptures say knowledge, wisdom, understanding shall be the stability of our times? You think a, a a bunch of FRNs is gonna be able to materialize into a piece of steak? It ain't gonna materialize into a piece of steak. In that day, in the time of Jacob's trouble, pursuant to the book of Jeremiah, the 31st chapter, pursuant to the book of Revelations, where it speaks about the hour of temptation. In that day, when you ain't got no food out here, the scripture talks about within the book of Mark, the 13th chapter, there's going to be a time, right, where there's going to be famines, earthquakes. And these are these are the beginnings of sorrows, right? When that, be, when that time of the beginnings of sorrows is upon the earth, the hour of temptation is upon the earth. All of that money that these so-called high value, high value guys, right, have, it ain't gonna mean anything. And on the other side, you got the simp begging, begging, you know, begging to be with a, with, a, with a woman like like the apostle did the video up on this guy Tyrese. That guy ain't gonna be on our level either. Okay, because he's already through, because he's already, the scripture says, remember and show yourselves men. He's already in an effeminized type of uh, position. Okay, he's already eff effeminized. You kinda, you know, you kinda have to give some credit to the so-called red pill type dudes because they got that, at least they got, some kind of perspective on the reality of this situation which is that really this kingdom is fruit right but what they think is the solution is to get monetary gain that's not the solution right the red pill movement will have you believe that the, the so-called you know way to be is to to go out there and get the money and that's what's going to solve the problem that's not what's going to solve the problem man what's going to solve the problem is when yahweh sends yahweh sends his son yahweh Shai, to destroy this kingdom and that's when value is going to be realized because you're going to find out the, the people that have the real value the people that have the real value is the men of the Lord that have this truth, this knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures because they're going to be elevated to the end of the book of Isaiah, the fourth chapter on the first verse is going to be fulfilled. And in that day shall a, a, a man take off, uh, seven women take off hold of, of one man. Okay? Let me just make this turn. In that day, we, 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 seven women take a hold of one man. Right, and they're gonna take a hold of one man because we see within the book of Isaiah, the thirteenth chapter, within the book of Isaiah, the thirteenth chapter, we see within the scriptures that. The more size set it up to where a, a, a man shall become more precious than the fine golden wedge of Ophir. Why? Because when you got troubles within the earth, everybody's going to be looking for a covering. When you got trouble, troubles within the earth, everybody's going to be looking for a covering. And we see a man's going to be a covering from what? From the storm and the tempest. Yo, what's going on here? We don't wait for that line. What's going on? What the actual fuck? What's this guy doing? Okay. We don't see we don't see that the, within the scriptures that we see within the scriptures Salakia that within the book of Isaiah the thirteenth chapter <coughs> the more size set it up to where what the more size set it up to where a man's gonna be fine more precious than the fine golden wedge of Ophir because a man's gonna be a hiding place from the storm and the tempest because the men of the Lord are gonna be the ones that's gonna be elevated right them guys that go out there they're gonna fight for for queen and country they they gonna get the ICBM 
right? Them guys that have got the, the so-called, you know, the, the, the preppers, and they've prepped up for this, you know, for the destruction of this place, they ain't gonna make it. Because you're gonna need spiritual intervention to make it. And we understand that the spiritual intervention is gonna be given unto who? It's gonna be given unto the men of the Lord. Right? We're gonna, we see that the elect are gonna get the spiritual intervention to be delivered, and therefore they're gonna be very, very valuable. So hopefully that was of edification. With that, I'm gonna say, oh praise unto Yahweh, Shema, Shai, Bashim, Kaha, Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, and honestly, brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom.